Power movies. Um, I, we were just talking about this earlier. It's like a, it's like riding a roller coaster for me. It's like when you go to an amusement park, you wait in line for an hour to get a 60 second thrill. And why is because you feel something that you don't normally feel. You feel out of control. You feel something in your gut. And I think horror does the same thing for me as what, riding a roller coaster. It makes me feel something I don't everyday feel. Yeah. Wow. Um, so because you've done musicals and horror, what's it like balancing those two genres? You know what's funny is I started in musicals. Um, that's how I started. Um, I was directing stage shows. I directed the Repo of the Genetic yeah. Opera stage show. And then after doing the stage show, I ended up getting the movie. Um, yeah. So it's it's crazy. I've always, always been a fan of musicals. Um, I grew up watching Jesus Christ Superstar, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Tommy. So that's how I started. Yeah. So I love it. And then, you know, there's something so over the top about musicals, and there's something over the top about horror as well. So yeah. it kind of just meshed with me. Well, because like, those ones that you just mentioned are like people, because they're, they're over the top, but they have that emotional element yeah. underneath yeah. them as well. So yeah, of course. Yeah, is that something that you try to capture with people? Absolutely, like that, absolutely. I mean, to me, we listen to music when we go through our daily lives. We go to the gym, we listen to music, we drive in the car, we listen to music. Yeah. And then we watch movies, we watch TV. So when you can combine those two things successfully, it, it just is a perfect match. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep it uh, quick because I know you've got no a lot worries, to do. No worries, no so, um, worries. Uh, yeah, so the cult follow, you've got a nice little cult following now. Yeah. Um, through Repo and the Devil's Carnival. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how does it feel like meeting your fans? Are they it's okay. crazy. I um, I've seen like there was gin turns I saw dressed up. These billies that are dressed up. It's crazy to know that people are actually cosplaying yeah. things that I've created. So it, it's amazing. A girl was just here and started crying a second ago, and it was like I don't even know what to say. Like to think that your art can affect someone like that so yeah. utterly. Well, if it helps, when they told me I could interview you, I started crying over there. So I'm and, not that cool. Yo, you are. You. Uh, well, thank <laughs> yeah. you. Thank you. Um, so what's next? What other projects? Uh, are they Devil's Carnival too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I actually I'm leaving here to go meet Terrence in uh, to go meet Terrence in Toronto to go finish Devil's Carnival 2. And then I just finished a movie called Abattoir, which is a really psychological haunted house movie, and that oh, comes wow. out next year. Amazing! So exciting! Thank you so much. So exciting!